Okay, uh, today I'm going to start to talk another way that we can create a 3D uh, object uh, up to this point when we wanted to create a 3D object. Um, what we use was generally we use that um, this uh, extrude command was one of the very first thing that we use it and then it was the the second one that we use was the uh, press pull command to create a 3d object today if you come here and click on this arrow um, uh, underneath of the extrude uh, and it's going to open a couple of other other way that we can three, uh, create 3d object and one of them is the revolve command and uh, Today I'm going to uh, walk you through uh, how to use the revolve command uh, to create a 3D uh, object. And just to show you very quickly what it does before I start to do that, let me go here and switch to... Uh, uh, this view. And... Uh, well, let's go to the front view um, and let me just draw simple drawing here so I'm gonna draw um, a line a horizontal line start from 0 0 and then go for example for 50 press enter and zoom in to see it Um, and then I'm gonna from that end just use that uh, spline from that end to create a simple spline so come here uh, <clears throat> assume something like that and then I come here to use the join command uh, to just join these two together so select the first line select the second one and press enter so now, now if I go ahead and look at them they are going to be one object and then I will go back to 3d view and go here to the world and if I come here click on the revolve select the object I want to revolve press enter and then I revolve it um, I would get something like that so, um, I'll come here and make it like this so uh, this is generally what I want to I want to show you what how to do that so I can revolve it to create a 3d object from the uh, very simple line or cross section that I have so example here if you look at here that was the line that I uh, originally draw uh, and I use that line to uh, actually uh, so you can see it is a line that I draw and if I uh, uh, rotate it so this is what I draw at the beginning and then if I enter so this way after I rotate it it's going to create some uh, 3d object for me something like that so this is um, uh, what I want to go through that and see what are the different way of uh, drawing it. Uh, I mean, draw a cross section and then revolve that cross section um, and create a 3D object out of that. Um, so, go back to. Um, to do that, uh, remember when we want to do the uh, revolving, usually we need, to, not usually, uh, almost every time we need a cross section and we draw the cross section and then we are going to rotate that cross section. So, uh, for example, here I'm going to draw a cross section uh, in the front view uh, and then I will uh, uh, rotate that. So, to do that, I will again move here to the front view to draw that cross section. Um, and as I said it's easier to use it the 2d frame view um, again like uh, uh, the similar thing that we do with the extrudes uh, 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 you use the polyline to draw the cross section 
and I will later on show you what's going to be the difference if you use the polyline or if you use the, for example, the line to draw the cross section. But let's start with the polyline. So here I assume I'm going to just draw a cross section to look like uh, an L, for example. I start from 0 and 0, and then I go, for example, 100, and then I go up for, for example, 50 go back to the left for 50 go up again for 50 go back to the left for 50 and then I click on the close so I have this uh, cross section as you can see it here so this is a cross section I want to rotate so I draw the cross section in 2d view and then I will go to the back to the 3d to show how you can uh, rotate it. So I will go back to um, click on uh, this to go back to the 3D view and um, I will go back to the world uh, coordinate system for now uh, to see how I can rotate that. So the very first thing if I want to revolve it is come here. If you see it is already here so if, if the ex uh, extrude uh, command is on the top just click on this arrow here so you can see the, the revolve coin sitting down there. So as soon as you click on the revolve coin, it says that uh, select the object to revolve. Basically says that uh, in this case is a cross section that we want to revolve with. So this is assume this L shape is the cross section I want to revolve with. So I select that. If I have more than one, so I can select all of them. After I'm done with selecting, just press enter. So as soon as I press enter, down here is going to ask me uh, to specify uh, about what axis do you want to rotate that um, object. And as you can see it here, already it has the X, Y, and Z here. So for now, I'm going to say that assume I want to rotate it uh, uh, about the Z axis. So I can come here, click on the Z axis. And as soon as I click on the Z axis, it says, okay, so you can rotate it about the Z axis. And they said, how far do you want to rotate it? Do you want, for example, rotate it 90 degrees? Want to rotate it 180 degrees? Um, or any other angle that you want. You can go all the way to 360 degrees to create a you know, full rotation. So for example, here I want to do the 360. So I enter 360 and press enter. And then it's going to rotate the 360. Now I'll come here, say, change it to this so you can see after it rotates, it's going to create that um, uh, shape for me uh, that you can see. Similar that the way I rotate it about the Z axis, I can rotate it about the other axis as well. So let me uh, undo it. So Control Z. Um, let me change this first to this shape so you can see how it's rotate. Uh, so again, I come here, click on the revolve, and it says select the uh, object you want to revolve. I select that L shape. I just go press enter. And uh, last time I uh, rotated about the Z axis. This time I assume I want to rotate it about the X axis. So I come here, down here on, on the command line, and press on the X axis. And as soon as I press on the X axis, it says, okay, how many degrees do you want? To, uh, to rotate this uh, shape. So I assume this time I'm going to enter 90 degrees. I assume I want to rotate it 90 degrees and press enter and it's going to rotate it for me for 90 degrees. So if I uh, rotate it, you can see this is what, so this is the original cross section that I have here. Uh, this uh, cross section and that cross section rotated 90 degrees and created this um, uh, shape for me. So this is how I can uh, um, uh, rotate it. So what I, I would do is that first I would uh, create a 2D cross section, depend on which direction I want to rotate it, make sure that you choose the correct um, plane to draw the 2D cross section. And then uh, rotate it about uh, or revolve it about any axis that um, 
uh, uni. So let me go back. Uh -huh. So now look at this here. Uh, the one that I started to draw first, I uh, do it from the um, uh, actually started from the origin. Now assume I'm gonna move it a little bit in uh, toward the right, so that's not gonna start from the origin to see what happened. Uh, I can do it here, but it's easier to do it in the front view. So I will go to the front view uh, and uh, uh, so come here and select, assume I want to move this. So select uh, the move command here and select the object that you want to move it. And press enter and then select any point of, uh, on that object you want to move. Assume I select this corner here. And then I want to, for example, move it, let's say uh, 25 uh, to the right. The 25 so it's gonna be so at this point it's not gonna start it from the origin anymore so if I go back to uh, this view that I have and change it to the word coordinate system so now it's not uh, started from the um, um, uh, that origin anymore so look at uh, what happened if now I'm gonna rotate it so again I'm gonna click on the wall select the object I want to revolve press enter and then I'm gonna again choose I assume revolving it about the z-axis so if I, still I'm gonna again I'm gonna click on the z-axis so this time look at here so this is the cross section I have and then you see the cross section is gonna rotate about that z-axis assume this time I'm again gonna click 360 so look at the distance that I have toward the very left um, edge of the cross section uh, between the left edge of cross section and the Z axis so that distance is going to stay there and when I rotate it it's going to create a hole at the center so this is one thing that we can use it when we want to create a hole um, at the center of that uh, rotation so if I come here and press 360 and you can see that distance that I have from the, the z-axis, uh, the cross section has so when I rotate it, cause that I have uh, I have this hole at the very center, and this hole at the very center is because of the my cross section in, has this 25 millimeter distance. So this is going to be the 50. This circle has a diameter of 50 or the radius of 24. So you can use that distance. Um, there um, to uh, actually that distance here you can use that distance to create a hole at the center if we need it uh, and for any other reason that if we need to rotate it um, uh, from distance of those axes so up to this point it was how we rotate how to revolve it um, about uh, uh, those um, universal or the coordinate system, the axis of the coordinate system. Um, essentially, we don't. Some uh, sometimes it's easier to use those uh, axes to revolve it, but essentially we don't need that. We can uh, <clears throat> uh, rotate it almost about. Uh, any axis that we want. One, one of uh, the axes that usually we, we may want to rotate it about it is some line on the object. So for example, on the cross section. So for example here, if I come here and say, um, um, so let me move it a little bit to the right so it can be more clear. So I go back again to front view. As I say, it's easier to do that there. So I move it. A little bit further to the uh, uh, right so that's no gonna be again uh, another 25 no. oh, sorry so select the uh, select this corner and move it for 25 go back to 3d view and 
Now assume I want to rotate it about any of the line that I have on the object itself. So again, I come here, click on the revolve, select the object I want to revolve with, press enter. And you can see here, it says the specify axis that we want to revolve with about that. And assume this one, I want to revolve with about this base axis. So the base of this L shape. So I can come here, select the very first point of that base, select the very last point of that base. And then you can see it's going to revolve with about that base of that object. So I can go ahead and say, okay, uh, whatever angle you want, and then it's going to revolve it again one more time. So put the 90 degrees and it's going to revolve with 90 degrees about that base. Similar to that, I can use any other axis, uh, any other line here to revolve. So again, I click on the revolve. This time I'm going to uh, select the object, press enter. And this time I'm going to revolve it about this uh, left edge. So I can click on the uh, uh, start point of the axis, the end point of the axis, and then uh, uh, revolve it. This time 135 degrees, for example. So it, this time I revolved it about this. So this is the cross section, and I revolved it about this edge. I can use any other edges that I want. I can revolve it about this edge or this edge or the, any uh, any other uh, edges that I want. I can go ahead and similar to that, uh, I can revolve it about that. Edge. Similar to that, also I can revolve it about any, uh, for example, axis uh, that is not. Um, uh, also on that uh, shape so it doesn't need a, a specifically to be on that shape so um, let me for example bring it here and again I click on the revolve and it says select the object and select the object press enter then I can uh, select any two points so here before I revolve it look at my x y so I still I'm, I, my coordinate is going to be on front view so any point I'm going to select is going to be on this uh, X, Y axis here. As you know, when I'm doing the 2D view, or AutoCAD always select the point or draw the draw on the, uh, on the X, Y axis. So um, I uh, uh, choose the uh, intentionally leave this as the front view. So whatever I'm going to draw is going to be on this vertical plane here that goes through the X, Y. So if I come here, click on the revolve, select the object, press enter, and then I'm going to just select two, any two points here. Assume so this is my first point, and then it's going to be my second point, and it's going to revolve with about that axis that I just chose for any angle that I um, give it to it. One point about um, uh, revolving it in this case is that um, I want to show you how it actually is revolved. It, um, uh, what's the rule of the uh, that's going to revolve? So look at here. If I come here, click this object, and then uh, I want to revolve it. So I first I'm gonna, uh, for example, click on this um, point here, down here. Uh, and then I select the, uh, the second point on top of the first point. So it's going to be rotated like this. So you can see it rotated in this direction. Now, uh, now assume instead of choosing this, let me show you uh, uh, what would happen if I choose uh, the axis uh, point in different ways. So if I go back, say revolve select it and press enter and this time I first start uh, choose the point on the top and then I choose the second point beneath that and you see this time is rotating it in the other direction so it's rotating it other so look at the direction of the Z here this because I choose the first point up and the second point down, so the Z is downward and it's rotating it like that. If the, the, the direction that's going to rotate it is like the 
the right hand rule access that we had in physics if you have it uh, in the physics or remember it in the physics was about that if you put your thumb in the direction of the z then curl uh, your uh, four fingers that four fingers uh, the direction of the curving of your four fingers shows the direction of the rotation or other way in this case if you put your um, thumb in the direction of the z your fingers your forefinger and uh, curve your forefinger your forefinger goes from x toward y it rotates from x toward y and this is the direction is gonna this one is gonna rotate this is gonna rotate from x toward y um, now i'm gonna do the other way so this time i'm gonna so revolve select the object press enter this time I'm gonna select the first point down here and select the second points on top of that. It means that the Z direction is gonna be upward. And look at that again. Here, if I put my thumb in direction of the Z and then I curl, uh, I twisted my forefinger here, my forefinger goes from X toward Y, rotate from X toward Y, and you see it's a direction that is actually rotate. So it's rotate from X to R, Y. So anytime that you want to rotate it about any given axis, put your thumb, finger, along the positive direction of that axis, about from the start of the axis toward the end of the axis. And the way your four fingers is gonna rotate, that's the way that uh, the AutoCAD is gonna uh, rotate it. So you may know that, but it is like that if you, if you create an axis and you rotate it and it's gonna rotate it in the in opposite direction that you want just uh, go back and uh, select the axis in the opposite way instead of for example choosing it from the bottom to top choosing it from top to bottom something like that so it helps you to rotate in the direction that you um, actually want so that's also um, important point that you know uh, which direction uh, it rotate. Uh, another way that you can rotate is that assume I come here and just simply uh, draw a line, one line again here. Um, let me make it a little bit less slanted. So assume I come here, draw a line that goes from here to here. Again, because my x, y, my uh, you see as the, co the coordinate system is in front my x y is here whatever i'm gonna draw is gonna be on x y axis so if i rotate it you will see that where my line is so my line is at that x y because i'm still at the front view so these two basically these two are on the same plane now this time i'm gonna again start to revolve select and select the object press enter and then uh, come here and look at it it says choose the axis or choose xyz or choose the object so uh, if i come here and choose an object so if i choose the object i can come here and say okay this line is my axis so select that line and it's going to rotate it along that line so whatever is that so it's going to rotate it about that remember i can go ahead so let me i, I can go ahead and choose the similar to what i did before for example select the revolve uh, uh, select the object press it, and then select the start and end of that line for the axis so i can select the start and then the end of that line for my axis i can do it this way uh, to revolve it or i can do it is the easier way is that to click on the revolve select the object select the uh, object one revolve then here on the command line, select the object. When you click on the object, simply select the line and it's gonna revolve it around that line. And then uh, you have whatever you want to, uh, to <coughs> uh, revolve it. So this is how actually we can, um, um, is the basics of uh, how we can uh, draw a cross section. Um, and then we can, um, uh, revolve with uh, about uh, any axis that we want so the axis can be 
the original XYZ axis is can be anywhere on um, any uh, any line that create the cross section. It can be any point that we choose or any object that we choose. So it's gonna revolve with um, uh, about uh, those axes.